It is the trickiest question I got when I was being interviewed at a top investment bank. How we handle stock based compensation expenses when we are calculating free cash flows to the firm in DCA valuation. Okay. So let's break it down to understand this. First, let's understand what free cash flows to the firm means. It represents the cash flow generated by the business that are available for distribution to all the stakeholders, including debt and equity, stock based compensation expenses. These are the expenses occur when the company issues stock options or other equity based incentives to the employees as a part of their compensation packages. So these expenses are of non cash nature and debited to the penal account while calculating EBA. However, in DCA valuation, we do not add back stock compensation to the FCFM despite the fact that there is no actual cash outflow on account of these expenses. Firstly, Adding back these expenses would require adjusting the future dilution in the number of shares, which is practically challenging and may introduce complexities and compromise the reliability of the valuation models. Secondly, stock based compensation expenses are considered as the actual cost of doing the business and are already accounted for in the company's income statement. Therefore, leaving these expenses deducted in FCFF ensures more accurate representation of cash available to current capital providers, excluding dilution part, which will occur due to these expenses in future. 